have it. I'm getting my cardio in. I know, but yeah, I, I'm trying to lose weight. I'm getting my cardio in. <laughs> yeah, but I really have something so much better for you than this. I promise you, it's but gonna be short. Wait, 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 like I actually want to lose weight. I know, but this won't do it. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I have something so much better. Like, Joey, it'll take less time. Oh, like less than one and a half minutes to do. This is my friend, Coach Yachty. She's the creator of Soul Body Method, and one of her four elements is movement. Yes. And girl, you can be moving. It's better to do short bursts of a workout, so switch out your 45 minutes to an hour of cardio for something like this, where you can like challenge yourself and play a game. You know, you can play a game with yourself and say, oh, I wonder you know, how much time it's gonna take me to do five of these stairs. And you can make it three or five or 10, but you know, start off with something that feels doable and that you can do, and, and then you can repeat it like two to three sets. You know, what I see often is that people do way too much cardio, and I see them all the time on the machines, and it's better to do movement than not do movement, Yeah. but if you can do it more efficiently and see results that much faster, instead of spending a lot of time and getting mediocre results, or sometimes none. Girl, this so resonates with me, because when I was training for um, Miss USA, when I competed, uh -huh. I did 45 minutes of cardio on the treadmill, five uh, to six days a week, and it worked. I mean, it's not that that doesn't work, yeah. but that takes so much time. Something that can supplement that is exactly what we just did, right? But we would do it, like, we would say, okay, up and down the stairs equals one round. Okay. So you could do, let's say you're a beginner, and you tell yourself, I'm gonna do three rounds as fast as I can, and I'm gonna repeat it for two more rounds and start off that basic. So the explanation for it is this, when you do long hours of cardio, you end up using fat as fuel, and we think, oh, well, good, I'm gonna burn fat. But what actually happens is that you're telling your body, hold on to my body fat, because I'm gonna need you to fuel my workout. It could be that it easy, be that I've wasted easy. all that time. I, yeah, you're challenging your heart, you're challenging your lungs, which means that after you work out, your body is burning fat because as you rest, that's when the body burns the most fat. That's why I do very little working out, but intense enough so that my body the whole day will be burning fat. And I think it's working for her. What do you think? Look at this hot pot, jeez. Yeah, no crunches either, you know? Like, it's really about efficiency and not killing yourself at the gym. And definitely, if you can let go of that, you know, cardio mentality, you're gonna do yourself a service. And the best part is, is you have the philosophy of if you feel good, you look good. And we're gonna dive more into that as we talk about the other three elements of Soul Body Method. But give us a little sneak peek of what the other three are. Okay, so a sneak peek would be the mindset that is huge, mm -hmm. and you know the, the way that we perceive how to go about this journey, right? Um, the second part is the soul set, and the third part is nutrition. But doing it in a way that's not depriving, restricting, or stressful. So all of it has to do with feeling good all the time, not focusing on stress and extremes. And to learn more about her, you can go to soulbodymethod.com, right? Yes. Okay, awesome. Yeah. I'll write you down. Okay. Thank <laughs> you.